What's up everybody, d right back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be talking about Ready or Not because they just released another briefing. This one is briefing number 57. Early preview customization. Ooh. It starts off with saying, calling all units. Welcome to the 57th edition of our bi-weekly newsletter. Today we will be sharing one of our community's highly requested topics, the upcoming customization in Ready or Not. Remember that the following is an early preview of our customization system and everything that players see here will look entirely different later. This will incorporate the community's involvement at various stages rather than just during the final touches. Introduction. The Void Interactive team constantly uses their brushes and canvases to expand the clothing combination so you can distinguish yourself easily when approaching the dangerous streets of Los Sueños. Mary G. Gerard, an ambitious character artist at Void, will be joining different parts of our news to share more information about the process. Presentation Gloves. Kicking off the practical but essential clothing piece for SWAT members, the player can choose from a long list of gloves through an available UI. We understand that aesthetics play an important role in an immersive game such as Ready or Not, so you will have the freedom to add or switch parts to your character while combining your favorite colors. Ooh, very nice. When I started getting into the whole 3D creation realm, I started making content for competition called make arma not war the premise was simple just create content the better i got at it the more i realized how simple and fun it is to be able to just replicate things you see or have used in real life and that just stuck with me i love anything art painting or music so this is my way of expressing and enjoying myself and i'm happy we have people excited about and enjoying the things we've released also i love collaborating and working with others and when possible helping or teaching them as i always feel like i always learn something new from everyone i meet that was mary g person who created these cool looking quad nods that are not in the game what yet the but moving on here we got a bunch of pictures of uh, the gloves that will be added into the game and boy do they look like they've been through the ringer here's the first picture we got here yellow one actually these two gloves in the middle right here look like gloves that i actually have for like doing the garden or something and then we got another one here which i think is the same gloves but maybe slightly less dirty or maybe less detailed we got another picture here and these ones kind of look a little more colored like this one is a camo color this one is like an orange color this one looks a little more olive green i'd say this yellow one looks pretty much the same though i don't think there's a difference Maybe just a little bit skinnier. Trying to look at all these together. Like this one looks like it turns a different shade of color. This one like a green, orange, and then a camel color. This one looks, I mean, this one on the left kind of looks the same. Maybe this one's a little more yellow. This one lighter greenish color, I'd say. This one looks a bit the same. So there is definitely some differences here. But underneath these pictures, it says multiple images representing some of the many skins when talking about gloves. Pretty cool. Moving on here, presentation shoes. Can't chase Los Sunes suspects without something to support your agility originally this section was not planned for the early preview due to the shoes still catching up with the attention and love compared to the other ones but we believe that this will give an idea for future reference it's important to us that we tell the stories of those who place their lives in danger to help those in need no matter how gritty and terrible these scenarios might be it is a part of what makes them realistic this feat also follows people utilizing different tools and equipment for the specific job and while i know it might not be exciting for some to play dress up it is always for us developers to offer players their own way of expression within our game giving the players the option to choose how the game looks in first person so that the stories and things that develop as they play our game become their stories too another quote by mary g or gerard and then we got a couple of pictures of some scanned in boots which we talked about scanned in stuff a while ago if you want to look at that video i'll uh link it if i remember to but yeah this first picture shows in the scanned in stuff and this bottom picture shows the shoe with the textured in stuff this looks like a sketcher not gonna lie solomon pretty cool pretty cool underneath this it says a work in progress look at something slick and sporty together with a splash of texture and partial conclusion moving on here presentation glasses the department managed to experiment with a variety of accessories as well as seen in this development update we are trying to step away from the choose a full outfit format since that can automatically block a lot of freedom regarding character customization it's really exciting to work in this area mainly because i can't wait to see people using a lot of things we create in their videos or reviews. I'm always humbled to see things I've helped create in people's content. It is quite surreal. The tools we've been using in a lot of creative work being done have been things like Autodesk, Maya, Blender, Adobe Substance, Painter, and ZBrush. Another quote from Mary G. Wow, they use a lot of stuff. It's kind of crazy. But underneath this is some more pictures. We got a picture of a SWAT officer with glasses on. Seems to fit pretty well with this helmet. I don't think there's anything different about this helmet. Maybe it's a little more textured up. Actually, I think they have been texturing up the helmets a little bit better. This 
it me or is this uh this thing twisted a little because normally it would be like out front right unless this is the quad knots here it might be the quad knots i don't know but underneath this is another picture let's see this is showing off more of the glasses i assume but also the very nice looking textured helmets i think that's the quad knots i'm not I'm not too sure i can't tell but yeah we got the uh, see-through we got the darkened ones we got red ones which looks pretty cool i believe these are all different characters or no 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 they're the same i think but anyways underneath this it says different color tints and types for one of the accessory section glasses all right moving on here presentation masks as an experienced member of special weapons and tactic teams your duty is to serve and protect the citizens of los Sunas. placing yourself in extreme scenarios where mere seconds are deemed essential with that in mind showing an imposing presence through strategies is not out of the question i've been a long time collaborator with modding projects and groups red hammer studio and USP, it's always a pleasant experience to see how talented all these artists are. Those who don't know that I source and try a lot of gear we use as references, and I love going to different airsoft events here in the states, like MSW. So there's also that. Shout out to TFM. I have no idea what he's talking about, but that was also another quote from Mary G. I don't know what MSW or TFM stands or means, but I assume it's some sort of group that he's shouting out. But anyways, we have another picture here that shows off the gas masks, and wow, these things are like really stretched out. They look a lot bigger than the ones that are currently in the game. I'm a little more menacing, not gonna lie. And then in the next one here, they have pictures of the other gas masks that have different types of eye covers here. You got the red one, the green one, the black one. Pretty cool. Feel free to explore a seamless blend of designs you think might match across your gameplay. We look forward to showing our members the final versions of the system in the near future. And then we got this cool looking picture right here. This black and white picture looks pretty badass, not gonna lie. According to one of my subscribers, he was saying, that uh, the new gas mask will replace the current according to Rapolio and you already know my thoughts on uh, that but if you don't my personal opinion I don't like how they replace things I wish that they would just you know add things and maybe update the previous things to make it look a little more modern so we still have that option of look, you know playing with the older one but you know it is what it is ready or not tends to replace a lot of things I know that they've taken out like a lot of older versions of weapons and re completely replaced them with the more updated not updated but more modern versions of the weapons I don't think they're bringing back the older ones but I've seen a lot of people mod the older ones back into the game so that they have the option still but yeah in conclusion this concludes our 57th briefing should you tune in next time for more development news so yeah that's pretty cool that we're getting a customization overall here I hope they really take that ground branch route where they just start you know adding a bunch of new stuff that we could fiddle around with because I think they've noticed that a lot of people in the modding scene tend to add just so much gear to their game that they're just you know uh, let's do that let's add all that stuff you know what i'm saying so that was pretty cool what are your guys thoughts let me know down below and uh yeah thank you all for coming out to watch be sure to subscribe and ding that bell and like the video and do all that jazz and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye